Hey, what's up, Sailor Senji? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. You know, ever since I started my Sailor Moon collection, I have never really focused on the vintage items from the 1990s until now. As my collection has grown, I've noticed that I've really caught up with the merchandise that has come out in the 2000s. So I've started looking at things that are from the 1990s so that I can really round out my collection in here. Now that does not mean that I am necessarily collecting every single item from the 1990s that I see. I still have very specific focuses, but I'm starting to expand those focuses to older items from my childhood. So with that said, today I am doing an unboxing and a merch review of some items that I have received from the 1990s. A lot of these items I'm probably going to keep in the box just because they are so old and a lot of them are in wonderful condition, so I don't want to mess that up. But for anything that has already been opened, I will take those out and show you exactly what those items are. So let's Let's go ahead and get started. Now I did get a lot of these items from secondhand sellers, so I can't really link you to them down below, but I will give you information about them if I have that available. So first off, I have a couple of books. One of these is a comic and the other one is a book. And I did want to say a huge thank you to my local friend, Shannon. Yes, her name is also Shannon for giving me this. I think it's wonderful. And I'm so excited to add this to my collection. So, so you can tell that this is a vintage item. It does have a little bit of yellowing going on on the white parts like the binding and we also have a few little tears along the edges so it's not in perfect condition but this is in fairly good condition for its age. So back in the 90s there is a whole slew of these graphical books that feature a lot of illustrations from the anime as well as images of Naoko and other artists who were working on the show at the time. Like here are some of the artists that were working on the show. There's also also a whole compilation of images from the anime itself. So you can flip through these books and see a whole bunch of pictures from the original 1990s Sailor Moon anime. And I think it's so interesting that I can get one of these. It's like an art book for the anime. There's so many of these available and usually you can find them online for a pretty decent price. So these are one of those items that is really easy to get into. I don't know if any of these are particularly rare. I'll have to do some more learning on that to educate myself, but I think they're really cool. So check out this amazing poster with this kind of rare art. Here we have Queen Beryl, the four generals, and then we have the inner sailor guardian, including Naru which is crazy. And then we have Tuxedo Mask in the back. I love that we have this awesome poster. I will never take this out. There's also a poster of Sailor Moon. I'm trying not to crease this book too much along the binding because I don't want it to tear or fall apart. A lot of times the glue on older book bindings will fall apart. So I'm trying to be as careful as I can. There's the other side of the poster. And you can see it's it's barely been opened and unfolded because it's in such good condition. So I'm really, really excited that she gifted this to me because it's such an interesting little piece of Sailor Moon history. So that's my book. I also wanted to show you this comic. So this comic you can often find on eBay. What makes it cool is the fact that this comic was only available at San Diego Comic-Con. Usually if you want to find this comic, it will cost a couple hundred dollars. The one that I purchased is not in perfect condition. You can see there's some scuffs along the back, like right there, for example. And on the front, there is a little bit of cloudiness in this silver foil, but this is a limited edition version of volume one of Sailor Moon. It was only available at San Diego Comic-Con. The run was maybe a few thousand. So it's relatively easy to find, but it is very expensive secondhand. Sometimes you can find a good deal on them like I did with this one. And if you can find it in really good condition, then it's definitely something you'd want to add to your collection. There's also a silver version of this that has like a silver front to it. That one is very, very expensive. The silver one I've seen for thousands of dollars and it's ridiculous that people would spend that much on a comic. <laughs> That's the only difference with this as opposed to the regular printings of volume one of the Sailor Moon English comic is just the pink 
cover. That's it. So you'll notice that when you open it, the very first page is printed on the cover. Otherwise, this is the original English translation, not the newer translation, because this did come out many, many years ago. They even still have this little mail-in order thing for mix. Oh my God. I remember filling that out back in the day. I remember filling this out with my dad's credit card back in the day because I wanted to get the magazine. All right, I'm gonna put this back in its wrapper because I don't want it to get screwed up. So definitely wanna protect this little piece of Sailor Moon American history. So moving on from there, I do have some dolls as well as some proplicas from the 1990s. Starting with this one, which came out in Japan via Bandai. So this is Sailor Moon's Eternal Tiara. I am going to keep this in the box. However, the person that I bought it from, I bought it secondhand. They did test it. I know that the batteries work, so the batteries have been removed from this, and I'm not gonna put new ones in there because I just wanna keep it protected in this box. But this is the old, old version of the Eternal Tiara. I think it's really pretty, and I love how shiny the pink is in the wand. I think that it looks so good. The fact that there's not much scuffing going on on the wand, it's kept a lot of its original color. I just think that's so cool. And the box is really pretty. It has tons of really pretty art of the inner Sailor Guardians. On the back, of course, there's directions on how to add the batteries. And then we have Mercury and Mars on the other side. You know it's legit, there's a sticker right there. So I figured I could put this on my top shelf with all of my newer proplicas just because I really like the box. I love the design and I think it's a cool piece of Sailor Moon history. I did end up with a series of cute little accessories that I also wanted to just show you real quick. Here's a cute little bracelet with Sailor Moon on the front of it. That's so cute. These are Sailor Moon notebooks, which I'm debating on actually using or if I just want to keep them in storage. They're really adorable. I love the print on the paper. They feature a lot of the chibi characters, including Chibi Chibi. This Sailor Stars one also features the same paper. This one also has a print on the back with Chibi Chibi. This is a money envelope. Here we have a vintage card from America. This is from the old trading cards. I have a whole bunch of these in storage, so it's pretty awesome to have another one that I can add to my little collection. Not sure if this is a duplicate or not, but one of my friends gave me this, so I wanted to add it. If you lived in the U.S. or Canada, then you're probably familiar with the U.S. actors, the U.S. voice actors. So these are some autographs from the original voice actors from the Deke dub. Now, whether or not you like the Deke dub, that's entirely up to you. There's definitely some nostalgia whenever you listen to the Deke dub, but the new Viz dub is one of my absolute favorites. I just love how similar it is to the Japanese voice actors, but the old one just has this nostalgia to it. And there's like so many good jokes in the previous dub. So I really appreciate these. I purchased these also secondhand. There's her autograph for Sailor Moon. She did the voice acting for Sailor Moon. There's Miss LB again on another trading card. And last but not least, we have another trading card. Now this is another piece of history. There's actually a few different Sailor Moon English voice actors. This one is Terry Hawks. So here's Terry Hawks signature. And I have an appreciation for every single one of these voice actors who worked on Sailor Moon. Each of them brought something different and unique, including the newest voice actors for Sailor Moon and all of the different Sailor Guardians and characters in the Viz dub as well. But these original Deke dubs do have wonderful nostalgia. So I really appreciate these. I just love having these. It's so cool. I've never really collected autographs from any of the Sailor Moon voice actors. I only have a few. I have like, I think I have the woman who voice acted for Queen Barrel. I have these now and I have Sailor Mars. So I have a few voice actor autographs, but not many. It's never really been a big thing for me. So moving on, the same collector also had this up for grabs. This is the vintage moon stick for the Americanized Sailor Moon. So this came out in America. However, I didn't really have access to it when I was a little kid, but this is another one of those items that I'm going to keep in the box just 
to protect it. Obviously the box does have a lot of damage on it, but that's not really problematic to me. I'm just gonna use it for display anyway. And it does still work as well. The seller did send me a video of this playing when I asked if she could put batteries in it. So I know that it works. However, the batteries have been taken out. Um, the more that you use these items that require batteries, electronic items, the more wear and tear they're going to eventually have. So yeah, now I have two vintage wands and I, I kind of love them. They're pretty cool. Last but not least, y'all know that I don't really collect dolls. Don't collect a lot of dolls because there's like a million of them. And if I did, I feel like I would never stop collecting dolls. But these ones I saw and I was like, those are cute, I want those. And if you used to purchase Sailor Moon dolls or if you've ever even looked at them on eBay, you know that there's tons of different ones. There's a bunch of different lines. There's ones from Europe, like these ones. There's also ones from America. There's different dolls for Japan. We didn't all get the same dolls. Unfortunately, America got some weird looking dolls, but I like these ones from Europe. I thought that they look really nice. These are all new in box, so I really wanted to get them. So I bought these secondhand as well. So here we have Italy's release of Sailor Moon dolls. So this set came out in Italy. Uh, they are not from the 1990s. They do have the newer Sailor Moon logo on them. I will look up the date that these came out because I don't remember it off the top of my head. So these are fairly newer, but I'm really happy that this reseller was selling them brand new in box. They've never been opened. The tape is still on the boxes. Everything is brand new. Like they still have their original little zip ties tying them into the box. So nobody's ever taken them out of the box. They've never been played with and they look really, really good for their age. So if I was to buy Sailor Moon dolls, like I would probably just stick with these ones because they're really, really pretty. I love their faces. Probably not the ones from North America because they looked kind of funky. <laughs> of course, that is just my opinion. If you like the ones that are from America, then you do you. But like the fact that I'm not buying them just means you have one less collector to compete against when you're trying to find those for a good price on eBay. I'm just gonna focus on like international dolls. I like these ones a lot more. So here we have Sailor Moon. She has a really, really cute childlike face. I love the glitter on her Odongos. I think it looks really good. And I also love that her skirt and her fuku has a little bit of sparkle to it. Her head's a little big, but generally these dolls have good proportions. And I like their cute little faces. I also love the box art. So this is newer box art, of course, the newer logo. There's a bunch of Italian writing on here, but we do have some really, really pretty art on all sides. Here's Sailor Venus. I love her hair, it's so bright and yellow, it's so pretty. She also has that really cool sheen to her skirt. Sailor Jupiter, her hair is very pretty. I love that there's really cute curls in her hair. And her eyes are green, of course, so accurate. Here's Sailor Mars. I love that her hair has a purple sheen to it. It's not raven black, it's more of purple color. She also has flats on instead of heels. And lastly, we have Sailor Mercury. Now Sailor Mercury's hair, mm, Somebody could take a curling iron to that and make it a little bit cuter, but it, it just looks like a very, very chopped shortcut. But still, I think they're all very adorable. So that is my very small haul of Sailor Moon 1990s merchandise. So vintage merch, as well as a few items from the early 2000s. If you are curious about any of these items, you want more information, definitely let me know down below. I'm also curious if any of you collect vintage items. This is something fairly new for me that I'm getting into, as I explained at the beginning of this video. So I would love to know which items you think would be a good addition to my collection back here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snow. Jane.